All right, there we go. Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and this is uh, BXJS Development Stream, the first one of, uh, or I guess in 2019, right? And um, I just want to continue actually building the BXJS website because I think there's a lot of potential to it and I've been using the search for quite some time now and I'm not really happy with the results it produces right now and I think it could be made a lot better. Uh, hey King Siller, welcome to the stream. Hey Shivan, welcome to the stream. Hey Anku, welcome to the stream guys. Welcome, welcome. Right, so as I was saying, I'm not happy with the search because from time to time it just uh, whoops, doesn't really find things that I want it to find and sometimes it just doesn't return any results at all while you know for some queries it actually returns them. I am guessing it's a limitation of that indexing library we used because it's not actually that, I mean it's, it's not made for that, right? So uh, yes, my idea is to actually look on whether we actually need Elasticsearch, maybe we don't. I mean, we don't really have that many documents, right? So it might be easier to just go with MongoDB. But the thing is, I'm not just, I don't just want to make the search better. I actually want to make the whole catalog better, right? Because right now we have this uh, index, which includes the basically episodes. And then we have the index of articles, which has the category, the title URL, and that's it, right? Well, this is already useful. Uh, it can be done way better. So we can actually take the article, extract the, for example, just start with the basic stuff and extract the keywords. That's already going to be immensely useful. And then go further and do some, I don't know, like maybe topic recognition or something like this. And uh, basically, yeah, just, just improve, you know, the search and cataloging all over the place. Um, hey, Renato, welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, I do know Vue. I used it for a bunch of pretty, um, or rather, not not small demos, but rather simple demos, right? So I use it whenever I don't want to set up the whole, um, or I used it whenever I didn't want to set up the whole building pipeline. But now with uh, HTM is not really required as well, so I still prefer React. So Vue is nice, but you know. All right, but um, yeah, so the idea is the following. So we take this search and change it to likely MongoDB. So we're gonna have a look. Uh, no, React is not better, it's just different. Like I just prefer React straight up. I don't I don't really like the views approach to the files. For example, the .view files still uh, are a bit annoying to me. I also don't like views approach to templating as in, you know, the, the whole like four directives and everything else is like, ugh. Uh, yes, absolutely. Go ahead and ask tricky questions. I will try my best to answer them, but I will probably fail miserably. All right. Um, so, uh, right, right, right. What I wanted to do. Uh, while you're asking questions, I'll continue. So we are basically the idea is we're going to keep the current way uh, in tools that is done uh, in the weekly, right, to check the duplicates, right? Because this is this is working. I've already caught a lot of duplicates this way and it's nice. Now, the releases we have here right now are not exactly useful, right? So we, we have this index JSON, which is this generated index that we can search over right now, but it's like, meh. So uh, I wanna replace this with actually with a PDF of um, the magazine, right? So we're gonna have BXGS Weekly Magazine and you will be able to download PDFs from the releases, which, which is kind of gonna replace this. So I think it's gonna be way nicer. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to replace the search on the website with something better and then maybe you can do some indexing and stuff like this. Right, let me look at the chat. How to access communication between parent and the child components with Vue.js? Um, I mean, you want uh, likely, if, if it's just one component, you know, one parent and one child, then you can either use props and pass stuff around or use, I mean, props is your basically option, uh, the common option, right? If you have more than one component, then you need a global state like MobX or whatever you prefer, right? Or Vuex. So uh, yes, indeed, I think React is the, like at least, you know, from my opinion, I, I uh, since React sort of leans on the functional programming side, I really like it this way. So, okay. Um, but continuing with the website. So I don't think we actually have that many, um, that many things. So wait, let me, let me just try. Let me try. So let's see. Um, so first of all, let's check how many items do we actually have and if it's worth getting the elastic search for that, which I'm gonna guess not really. So we are probably just gonna go with the MongoDB 
gonna start my VSL over here and uh, yeah right of course um, da -da -dum. we're gonna enter the indexes stuff and we get this thing right okay so there's our index and I'm gonna kill the index JSON I'm gonna move the index into index JSON all good and now we need to actually test that and hell if I remember where's my code so I think I'm gonna create something like uh, test uh, test.js since we don't have any tests I can just call it like this I don't care about the license right now so what we want is we want to check um, how many episodes we have right now right this is like 44 44 um, bxjs episodes so far uh, over the past year that was nearly the whole year but yeah all right so we got this index path we got this elastic lunar and we yeah we also need the path package and file system package i think maybe we don't need it we'll see and do, 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 where's my index uh, okay so there's the index uh right so we can kill we don't need to check we know it exists for a fact so we can just copy this stuff right so i'm gonna take this is gonna be dear name indexes index json so we read it we parse it and whoops and then we just need to there uh, so like now I, I guess I need the elastic elastic lunar documentation because I just want to see um, how it works how to learn to build architecture of apps well I mean there's as usual there's two ways either read books and study the architecture of existing things or build your your own stuff right I think I learned best when I basically build something from scratch and then screwed up a bit and then try to figure out how to make it better essentially you know so i think there's not nothing really beats trying to make your own thing especially when it comes down to the very large architectures and very large projects it's always really fun uh, but do expect to spend a lot of time on that because yeah it's not not an easy task all right so we need what we got the index here is my index documentation. I think this one, right? Uh, we need on offload at field set ref. There a count or something. Update documents, get field search. Field search. Come on, give me merge scores, field, chord norm to JSON, use. Okay, I, right. Let's let's just try to console log this, I guess. Search. I guess, I mean, I could just run a custom script over the... Oh, what do you call it? Over the BXGS whoops, over the BXGS weekly, right? But test.js. Uh, oh, I'm an index, that's right. Node test.js. This is what I want. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Length. Uh, okay, so we got 2020. Yeah, that's like, there's no reason to set up Elasticsearch for that. That is not that many documents. And I assume there's documents, right? Um, I guess it has an array there or something. I'll root URLs. Uh, yeah. So it's like 2000 objects, not worth setting up. Um, not worth setting up the elastic search for that. We can live with MongoDB. I mean, MongoDB has a pretty decent text search. So we're just gonna go with that. And um, additionally, as I said, I wanna go beyond just looking at the text as in, you know, the articles and URLs. I actually wanna go over the content of the article. So we are gonna write a relatively complex pipeline that will go through those articles and then you know fetch them and index them and uh, put all of that into database and allow us to actually query it right so i'm i'm not i'm unsure as if, as if to what kind of transforms we're going to run over that it takes ages to load but i know that we're going to basically download so load the page get the content from it so i'm not saying we're gonna get I, I don't know maybe we'll just store the whole pages and you know it's not that hard to i guess the, the html itself is not that big uh so if we go um what was the curl blah, blah, blah. this is no this is other stuff where is my where is my headers there we go this is what i want and we also don't want silence so i just want to get a header and get it into dev nowhere okay that is not what i wanted to see um right okay you know what <laughs> i mean i think the, the page is like well what is this a uh, few thousand characters you know we can we can just do this right 
and just uh, download that and say, okay, we get this into index.html. And there you go, 302 kilobytes. That is neglectable, right? So even if I have a MongoDB with 2000 entries, uh, 300 kilobytes each, that is nothing. So we might as well scrape all of the articles and store them for the later data processing. So we can, you know, start with simple text extraction and then see what else can we do with that. But that means that actually our algorithms over here, so our search, the way we're doing it right now is not gonna cut it, right? Because right now we just download that index.json whenever the webhook is called. And after the JSON is downloaded, we just load it into memory and search over it, right? So it's very simple. Now, what we actually want to do is once the hook is called, we want to clone the um, BXS weekly repository, right? So we, we only want to clone the um, articles. And then we want to run our own custom script. I guess we're going to reuse the episodes to documents over here that we have, right? So we're going to do this. We're going to take all the documents and we're gonna throw them into database. And then once this is done, we're gonna create some sort of, a, I guess, scheduled worker or maybe just a background worker that would basically, in the background, scroll the links and um, throw, like update basically documents in the database, right? So that basically once the documents, while the article um, articles come in from the BXGS Weekly, we can just search over the what we already have immediately, right? So we already have the URLs and we already have the title. So we can immediately search over that, right? But once the worker is finished, we could actually search over more criteria like tags and I don't know, entities and topics or whatever. So we can see how exactly that goes. So I guess we could start, um, first of all, I guess we no longer really need the Elastic Lunar. Um, you know what I need to do? I need to disable my my various protection because this thing slows down VSL like hell. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna go npm rm elastic lunar. So we don't need that anymore, right? Uh, right, so we're gonna kill that. And let me think. So we don't need the index thing anymore. Right, so what do we go? We don't need this index. Uh, we still have the cache, which is fine. We still have the episode data. There's our search. So we're gonna rewrite the search in a second. Um, so basically, yeah, that's essentially we don't need all of that stuff. And uh, we got this find an index from somewhere. Where the hell is it? Where this is, we don't need that anymore, right? Okay, um, we do not. So we got this, let me just put it into an empty array and then add a to do here, update to use MongoDB, right? And do, 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 there's our update. So we validate the hook, we get the latest release. We, oh, in, in this case, we don't actually need it. Here's the question. So what I do right now is I get the latest release and get the JSON from it, right? Um, maybe it's still a good idea to generate this JSON, but not in a format that currently is there, but rather generate two files. So we're gonna generate the JSON and then we're gonna generate the PDF that is basically human readable because it's just nicer. Uh, and I guess that's it. So we are gonna download the URL. Then basically what we need to do in addition here, instead of writing this to index, we're gonna need to throw it into the MongoDB, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, so like da -da 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 -dum, write file sync. We don't actually need to write it. So we're gonna have the file text and we're going to have um, data, which is going to be JSON parse file text. I am not sure if we're going to try later on. I'm not sure if the essentially the um, GitLab will give us a way it in the prop with the proper header so we can actually parse it as JSON. I mean, we can try it immediately, right? So if it doesn't work, we can just do it this way. And then we uh, write data to MongoDB. So this is gonna be our to do here. But before we start doing that, we actually need to work on the, um, on the other repo, right? So we first need to update our BXGS weekly. Why are you not dragging? God damn it, this fancy bloody hell. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, uh, open recent, we want, uh, hell if I know where is it, let me just open the folder, I guess. Uh, so we got projects, pxjs, we got the weekly, and we want to change generate full index, right? So instead of instead of doing this index document, in this case, we don't really care about the index, right? And we got the results, so, I guess, so wait a second, what, what was the folder to documents is episodes documents, we got the folder to documents, it returns the Highland JS, Highland JS stream, right? So we're going to take the stream and aggregate it into an array, which I guess would be as long as there's probably a two array method, right? Two array, come on, there we go. There's a two array method. Okay. And I guess in this case, we don't really care. So we don't need this done. We basically just want to say to array, right? And const data is going to be to array. And then once we're done, we just uh, don't care about the index bits. And so we got the index path, right? So in this case, it's not gonna be index path, it's gonna be data path, I guess. And on state data path is going to be path join their name. And how did I do the index path? Hell if I remember that. So it was just index JSON. So let's just call it episode, uh, whoops, uh, BXJS, B, God damn it, BXJS JSON, I guess, right? So we're going to do that. Why are you complaining about all of those things? Oh, because the endings are wrong. Right, I have to switch that. That's probably a good idea to check them in all files because I did write this in Windows before switching all the endings, which is not very nice, but we can update this immediately because why not, right? Okay, so we got this, we got the check duplicates, cool. So updated that. Right, so essentially what this is gonna do, data path and then JSON stringify data, right? Successfully saved data. So essentially, if we write full in the, I, I shouldn't have done this actually. So I'm gonna uh, I probably, probably it's better to use git than control Z everything, right? That sounds like a good idea. Um, right, git reset hard, no wait, git zero head tools um, generate full index. So I'm gonna reset this and I am gonna convert the endings, file endings, there we go. Uh, generating this content on disk is newer, please. But oh, right, okay. Uh, don't save. Reopen that. Change this. Save it. Okay, so we got. We still have got our. Um, let me just commit that. I guess. Git commit a fixed line endings. And um, I'm gonna create a new file, right? Which is gonna be generate data j uh, data file. Let's call it just data file. And this is what it's going to do, right? So we got this new file that is going to, upon execution, tools generates a data file. And there is some error there. What is the error? F is not a function. What do you mean F is not a function? Error process. Oh, did I? It's up. Probably have to update my current version because there's been quite some changes to it and I haven't touched it in ages. There we go. Right, okay, nodes, tools, generate data file. And there is type f is not a function. Where is this coming from? Hey, Grishwalk, welcome to the stream. All right, let me see, where is this coming from? I am a bit confused, but it still writes the file, right? So the file, okay, it's, it's undefined. That's interesting, why is it undefined? So folder to documents, uh, let's check, but wait a second. So. This errors out, but if I run node tools generate uh, full index, right? This passes. That's cute. Does oh wait a second? Does to index to array take some argument? Is that what I'm forgetting? Yes, it does. Parameter will be oh, it's a, it has a callback. Okay, so I actually need to do it slightly differently. So I just do this, and then it's going to be data. Okay, this is what I wanted, and this should now work, right? Hey Abhishek, welcome to the stream. All right, so we should now be able to actually generate the data file. Uh, didn't 
And there we go. Okay, cool. So we now should have a really big array of all articles, right? That has ID, that has category, that has title and has URLs. I don't really like the way that the URLs are, I mean, okay, I mean, multi URLs are not that frequent, but I guess I would actually tweak, I would tweak the generation just a bit to have the URL string here and to have the URLs, um, how do you call it? URL set, I guess, let's call it URL set. And it's just gonna be URLs, right? So just for the sake, you know, of my sanity, we're just gonna do this. And um, because I wanna store it properly in the database once we handle it, right? So this is gonna be, uh, where's my BXJS JSON? So now we have actual URLs array, cool. Can work with that. All right, so this is step one. And we actually need to run this uh, as a release, right? So we need to say, okay, we need first of all, we need to say, let me think for a second. No, this is the wrong window. Maybe I should close this. I'm not sure if we're gonna have time to work on this today, but right, so let's see. Uh, we got this, we run npm generate index. I guess let's make it npm generate, right? And Generate. Anyway, so we're gonna generate two things. We're gonna run npm run generate index. I we don't actually need to generate index, right? Because we're no longer using it. So we're gonna have generate data. And this is gonna be node generate data file. Exactly. So this is gonna be one thing. And then npm run generate PDF. Uh, we're gonna have another task generate PDF. As I said, I want to have a nice, nice uh, PDF as an output for the users Gen generate PDF file, right? So we're gonna have this, um, this is gonna run. Okay, so we need to change the Travis, say that just run PDF uh, generate. And then we need to change the files. So we got to have a look at the Travis CI docs, Travis CI release file, I assume it accepts arrays as well, right? Um, <laughs> file, this is not, is that what I want? File, 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 uploading files, file to upload. How do I, can I do multiple files? Like there's gotta be a way to do multiple files, right? File, Travis YAML file to upload. Uh, okay, Travis deploy file multiple, there we go. Deploy multiple files, GitHub release uploading, uploading multiple files. This is exactly what we'll, okay. So it just takes a yeah, list of files. Right, cool. So we can say that we want data JSON or I guess BXJS JSON, right? And we want, um, yeah, how do I, I guess BXJS PDF, let's just call it this way. And I guess for now, what we're gonna, why are you complaining here? So you're complaining about plus plus. Yeah, screw off. I, I really need to write my own ESLint because sometimes there is there are things that are not exactly sane, you know, at least, or I guess they don't really make a lot of sense for me. I guess they make a lot of sense for the um, whatever Airbnb guys because they wrote the whole thing. But in my case, majority of time, I don't really care much about it. Like, why is there, why is it not allowed to use unary operator? I guess there are cases where this like can be harmful, but okay. Uh, but anyway, right. So we got this and we need the new script, which would generate PDF file, right? So we're gonna create this .js and we're, I think I'm just gonna copy the data thing, right? So because we can go through the same pattern. So we get the data, but instead of uh, writing this to a file, we need to actually just make a PDF. Here's also the question, do I just, would it make sense to generate the PDF file of all the episodes or just the latest episodes? Um, I'm curious, um, okay, let me think for a second. So when you come to the releases, I guess you expect the whole thing, right? Or maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe it just makes sense to get the latest episodes. Uh, so I guess we will do that. So we we get we already have the logic for getting the latest episode over here somewhere. So I'm just gonna go with that. Um, we got links path. Um, I also got unused variable here, I assume, right? Yeah, so I can kill that. Whoops, I need to clean up my code a bit. 
and where is our uh, run so here's our folder documents no this is not it files yeah there we go there's our last file okay so this is our this is our last document i guess we don't even need the or i guess we need the pdf path right here pdf path we don't need the folder to documents here because we already have a markdown file right const run let's make this a sync main function and we're gonna do this and do, 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 do. essentially what we want to do is we okay we also need the read deer thing i, I don't know should I, feels like i should abstract this into a separate file but you know what screw that i cannot wait um you know can't wait when the node.js team finally lands all the asynchronous methods um to the core because there's been ongoing work with that but yeah I catch the error and be like console error error generating pdf error right so we just do that okay so we got the last file and this is our markdown uh, let's call it last episode and here's the question how the hell do you generate a pdf in uh, node.js node.js pdf uh, creation uh, creations i mean creations sounds okay so can you okay pdf from markdown is, is that a thing that should be a thing right md to pdf galt markdown pdf relaxed that sounds like a nice homage to the uh, latex but uh, okay uh, latex i guess you, you call it right so we got the pdf kits vector graphics text but i want something like super simple i would want to say here, take my markdown and produce me a PDF. Uh, boom, styles. Okay, that looks nice. Uh, can I use it programmatically? Yes, I can. No, no, I can't. Okay, it still takes the source. Uh, what does it use? Is it has its own logic or does it use some sort of uh, existing one? I'm not even sure if we need a PDF, but whatever, you know, let's do this. So let's see dependencies HTML PDF. Uh, okay, I mean that's one option. But so what is this? Create PDF documents using web technologies. That seems like really a LaTeX replacement for <laughs> using Markdown, which is kind of neat. I mean, I LaTeX is a nice technology, but it's a pain in ass to use, or rather, nice language, but uh, you know, a pain in ass as technology. Okay, so we got this. Markdown PDF. Okay. So this is, I guess, what we want. Right. Right. Mark yeah. Okay. This looks like what we need. So let's, let's give it a shot, I guess. So we are going to install that. Um, da -da -da -da. Come here. Clear that. npm install markdown PDF, right? And the way it works is we take uh so we get the markdown pdf we need the fs we already have it in our scope which is always nice right this is going to be fixed on its own and next we do i guess this this is basically all we want right and in our case last episode is going to be the file um i wonder if i don't remember is the file actually relative or absolute this is something we need to check and then we just write it to PDF path, right? That's basic. That's basically all we want to do. Like I, sometimes I really love how simple it is to do something in Node.js. Console log last episodes. Uh, so let me just make sure that I am not crazy and generate PDF. And it's actually, okay, so it's relative. So I actually have to do a construction, right? So I have to say path join as join uh, and we want links path and last episode. So this is what we want to do. And I think that should actually do it. So, web, web, pff, oh, I had to just click it twice. Uh, right, so there we go. We run the tools and we got the PDF. Uh, puppeteer sounds like a terrible overkill for this. I mean, I do get that you can use it and it probably works fine, but that means we have to spin up the whole Chrome to just render a PDF, right? Um, while it might be cool for some use cases, I would prefer in our use case to use something more lightweight because yeah, it's just, you know, simpler. 
Right, so let me try to open this. Uh, no, I don't want to open it in, in here. I want to open it in a browser. Uh, Reveal and Explorer. I should open this and... Uh, okay, that's... <laughs> nah. Uh, that, that's a bit weird. Why does it show the e links like this? Right, that is... Da -da -dum. So I closed the wrong tab. Oh, this is not what we had. We had this one, right? Markdown PDF. And we got options, CSS path, highlight paper, orientation, border. I mean, it kind of works, but a function that returns a through to a stream that can transform the markdown before it's converted to HTML. Uh, configure remark. Okay, so it uses remarkable. And we can use presets. So I guess we can just tell it to use a uh, full preset, right? And then maybe HTML, Linkify, Typographer. Yeah, so maybe we can just give it a bit more options and say, okay, so what was the option again? Uh, remarkable and it's an object. Okay, so we got remarkable right here, right? Remarkable and preset is gonna be full. And uh, was it so object breaks through remarkable presets? Right, I guess, I guess then in addition, we could um, maybe let, let's just try with a preset. Maybe that's enough. Let's see. It generated our PDF. Where is it? Reload that. No, it still renders the links in a very strange way. I wonder why. Um, okay. Remarkable quotes, highlights. Uh, right, so maybe, maybe let's try giving it more options. I wonder, wonder if that would help. Right, okay, let's see. So we generated a PDF. It's still, why are you doing this? Markdown PDF is using PhantomJS. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, it's surprisingly fast for a PhantomJS based thing. Okay, hmm. I see. So it uses, yeah, it really uses pre-built Phantom. Uh, oh boy. I guess the only option is like PDF kit if we don't want to spin anything up. Mm. Right. Examples. Okay. So, the npm package map. Yeah. So there's the there's my GitHub. There's the GitHub. Right. Is there a PDF kit based markdown solutions is what I essentially want. It shouldn't be that hard to transform one thing into another, right? And I don't really want to run any things on the back end, essentially. Uh, <laughs> let me think. So what we can do is we can just go to yarn package and see uh, PDF. So what do we have here? Create basic PDF files in browser or not, simple as cake. Uh, not quite what we want. PDF JS dist, JS PDF, PDF make. Uh, this looks promising. PDF kit common mark. Oh, nice. Allows PDF kit to render common. Yeah, that looks like what exactly what we want. So let's see. When is the, okay, a month ago, last update, not too long ago. So we can do that. Headers level three, emphasis. Okay, so this seems to support basically what we need. So we want common mark, PDF common mark, PDF kit. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. I'm, I'm all for it. So let's kill that uh, npm rm this one. So it does brings in three packages. But you know, if, if we can evade running binaries, I'm all in for that. Uh, because there's going to be faster in the long run anyway. So we're going to install this. Right, um, take this code, throw it in here, rewrite the imports as requires. And to the 10 uh, require, there we go. So we got the requires now. So, okay, I guess we need all of that. And da -da 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 -da. I guess we would have to read the file manually, right? So const last episodes path let's call it like this so we get the path we can kill that all right let's see what that actually does so we uh well it is uh, blah, that is a definite typo there we go okay save this so we create a new parser we parse markdown so this is actually so we need the file uh, the episode text 
episode text is going to be a fast read file. I guess we can just read it sync for now and maybe forever because it's just easier this way. And I think we also want to string, right? Read that stuff to string and we say episode text. So we uh, parse the input. Right, and then um, get the best, I guess, just less space bars, less enters. So right, we create the more uh, writer, we create the new PDF document, and we pipe it into the PDF path. And I think that's basically should do it. Right, so let's see RM BXJS PDF nodes generate PDF. Uh, common PDF render is not a constructor. Uh, is that I guess you want the uh, what the def ES module? Is it just ES module? Common mark. Yeah. So I guess this is what you want. It's a bit annoying when you publish ES module only. No. The default. Do you want default? You publish it as a default one. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So let's see how that looks. And that looks perfect. Cool. I mean, okay, that doesn't really fit one page, but you know what? Uh, it's fine. It's still okay. If you want, you can get a nice PDF into your email or whatever. Once this is done, I, I don't like, I don't know if it makes sense to do it as a PDF, but you know what? For the sake of experiment, why the hell not? I mean, just, <laughs> let's just, let's just go with that. All right. So we got the PDF generation. Uh, we got the check dupes. Why is it not saved? So I got to save that. Okay, cool. And now if we do, okay, so we are mbxjs json, rmbxjs pdf, and then we npm run generate, and we should get both json and pdf, right? Cool, and that was relatively fast as well. So bxjs star, so kill that. Okay, cool, so we got this, we uh, updated a bunch of things, and I can, let me just check the Travis again. Did it actually, uh, generate so we run the generate we upload the PDF in JSON and that looks good actually okay cool so git add git commit minusm add um, data file and pf uh, add pxjs oh, how do you call it? all data file I guess and current episode PDF generation for release, let's just call it this way. Okay, cool. So we got this, we can push that. All right, so the idea is that now once we do a release on um, weekly, right? Over here, instead of getting the index that is not ex exactly helpful, and it's, you know, it's purely elastic lunar index, what we're gonna get is we're gonna get two files. One of them is gonna be the uh, BXJS JSON, which is the JSON of all articles and all episodes with categories and so on and so forth. And second file is gonna be the PDF of the article that is basically human readable, which is always nice. And uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take that uh, and we're gonna take the data file. We are gonna download it over here in um we are gonna get this browser download url how did i main assets l if i remember what exactly this pointed to so we will have to recheck that once the release is done and i guess i oh boy okay you know what let's let's start with this because i think it's gonna take like a whole more hour to actually do that but at least what we can do is we push the stuff to the develop. Um, I believe it should pass now. I hope at least I didn't break anything. We're gonna check. We're gonna check it in a second. Uh, right. No. This is. This seems to be the master. And where is my develop branch? This. This is the new one, right? No. Did you not push it? What happened? Where's my? Oh, did I just accidentally close it? Ah, oh, come on. Uh, weekly, so this is what I want. Turn to the SL, get status. Um, uh, we are no get push. Okay. Why are you not? Oh, because I didn't enter my passphrase. Okay. Pff, God damn it. I really need to set up the passphrase less, you know, committee or like 
signing of everything because it gets annoying to type those all the time. But okay, let's see. We should get our new build right here right now. Cool, we got it. Oh, then I'll have a fancy UI for that. That's nice. Let me just maybe increase the size for you guys. So once this is done, I hope it doesn't break. And basically once it's done, we should be able to uh, create a new release. Once the release is done, we should be able to see those two new files. We can actually check and uh, make sure that they actually work as expected, right? And once they are done, I would suggest that today we uh, basically just do the parsing. Uh, where is the BXJS website? We just make sure that this hook bit is working correctly, right? We want to fetch the releases URL. We want to get the latest release. We want to get the correct asset. This is the most important bit, I guess. And once this correct asset is fetched, we want to uh, download the data and then parse it. And then in the next stream, we're going to set up the MongoDB, throw it in there, index it with text indexing in Mongo, because as I said, you know, I don't think Elasticsearch makes sense here. It's just like a couple of thousand of documents. Right, okay, cool. So it actually works perfectly fine. It doesn't do release as expected, uh, but now we actually need to, okay, let's do the pull request. Um, test release with new artifacts, right? And uh, just create a pull request. Right, and uh, okay, so branch is out of date. So I'm gonna update that. I really like that you can basically do everything on a GitHub. So once I've uh, finished configuring the duplicate checks and everything for BXGS weekly. I literally never touch it out of browser. So I just do all the work in a browser, which is really handy. And you can, you know, merge branches, update everything and GitHub essentially does it for you. There were errors. I think there is always errors, uh, which is basically warnings for the possible duplicates, which is like, you know, oh yeah, th those are the older ones. That was like the, the slightly broken formatting, uh, but you know, what, this was like some announcements that I put in the front of the file that don't conform to the um, format that parser expects, but those are, you know, known ones. And as the, the uh, sponsored message as well. So it's, it's like, there are errors, but they are not game breaking and they're expected. So it's all fine. We're good. So errors I put in there, so we're fine. All right, come on. So we got, uh, we got, yeah, we need for the tests to finish. And once they are done, which should be relatively fast. It's like, what is it, 20 seconds? Yeah, 20 seconds for test is a good time. So there's our pull request test. So once all of those are done, cool. We can actually uh, merge the request, right? And create the test release with new artifacts. So they should merge it. The Travis should now run the release pipeline. And the release pipeline should generate a new release for us over here. So we should get 10 releases. Um, let's wait for a few seconds, I guess. So I, again, you know, I really like how it's just 20 seconds, not like two minutes. If we would spin up something like Puppeteer or anything else in Travis, that might take quite some time. So it's nice to have it nice and lean. All right, come on. So we got, what we got? Do your, do your magic, Travis. All right, now, um, I wonder. So we got 10, 15, yeah, I think that's fine. I, I think I have the node 11 here, right? Uh, node minus V, yep, 11, six. We're fine, we're just fine. Okay, come on. I'm just gonna stare at it for a second because you know, CI is always like this. Don't mind the silence. But okay, so I guess we could meanwhile plan a bit what we're gonna do next time. So first of all, we need to create a MongoDB and attach it to this. So I guess Mongoose or something like this, write the documents into it when the new release comes, but we are only gonna write the ones that don't exist, right? So I guess we're gonna use the URLs as the unique identifiers, um, because that makes sense, right? And we are, I don't know, I, do URLs make sense? We had some articles that had more than one. I guess the URL string would make sense as a unique identifier because there would not be more than one at a time. And 
Then we're gonna update the query. So we would have to make the text indexes over our collection, I guess text index for titles and text index for URLs. We're gonna search over that. And once this is done, we can set up the worker that would actually, why is it so, is it frozen? Is it taking ages to install Node.js here? Travis, are you sick today? What is happening? Uh, I, I think they're having some sort of a hiccups over there, but <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, yeah, so the basic idea is that, and then we're gonna set up a separate pipeline. I think we also don't need a fast and path anymore. Uh, so basically the, the next would be that once this download is done, right? So once we write the data into the Mongo, what we're gonna do is uh, schedule a worker to crawl new articles and uh, get tags, full text, ADC, right? So we actually wanna, I wanna have the search that would allow me to look over basically everything. So we right now, if I go over here, I know that there are articles about hooks, right? But um, if I search for hooks, I will only get the best matches based on the headers, right? Now, which is, I mean, that's still quite good, right? So it's not terrible, but I know that there are way more articles and we could actually offer a more fine grained uh, selection. So like I, for example, I just wanna see articles, for example, right? Not libraries and demos. And I cannot really do that with Elastic Lunar, which is slightly annoying. Uh, I think it's frozen. Let me just kill it and restart it, I guess. Okay, Travis, I guess you were having a bad day today. Right. Okay, let's hope this one goes faster. Come on. But okay, this is sort of the general plan. Um, I guess I don't really need that anymore. I won't commit this bit yet because we didn't really do anything. I just removed a bunch of things from it, right? I don't remember if I actually killed the Elastic Lunar from here. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So what we literally wanna add is Mongoose at MongoDB connection and then just process the data and set up the background crawling. Um, the way we will set up the background crawling is up for discussion. So if you have any preferences, guys, let me know. I think probably the basic worker would do the trick, right? Uh, okay, so we got this, this seems to work. All right, so we run the generates. There's our saved data. Okay, so everything looks good. PDF file seems to be saved as well. Right, so I think it's, it seems to be working. So we just need to wait a bit. There we go, release 10. So we should have the JSON and PDF, perfect. We just have a look at the PDF, make sure it actually looks fine. Nice, so we actually get everything working. Okay, so now uh, here is the question that I have before we wrap that up. Okay, it's getting hard to talk, okay? So before we wrap up the stream, let me just uh, actually take this bit of code and I guess just test it. Let me just make test JS and um, right. So let me just uh, da, 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 const run um, sync do this. Da, 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 da. Okay, we don't really need to catch any errors right now because it doesn't matter. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to just want to see if the if the error oh, got them not the error the artifact we're getting is actually the one that we want right. We got our isomorphic unfetch over here. We got the base URL. We don't need this URL. And we got console log browser download URL. So um, theoretically, if, if I'm not mistaken, it should be correct anyway. Yeah, okay. So it's like it points to the JSON, right? So I, I, I guess it always will point to the JSON due to the formatting. I don't know if I wanna rely on that. So maybe let's try to make it slightly better. Um, so let's do assets. I guess we could just basically look for a file that is uh, includes JSON. So yeah, okay. So basically what we wanna do is we're gonna say assets and we're gonna say main asset. We're gonna find assets so that asset name equals bxjs JSON, right? So once we do that, it's 100% gonna be 
uh, browser download JSON. It's 100% going to be basically what I want. There is a broken character in the first entry in the PDF. I'm guessing this is probably emoji, right? Because I'm not sure if emojis actually work in the PDFs. Let me just check this real quick. So we got our latest episode and there's the first link and it is an emoji. So I like, if you wanna try to figure out how to put in emojis into PDF, be my guest, but I honestly don't think it's worth it. I think a bit of a broken characters are fine. Once again, I'm not sure anyone would actually use those PDFs. Maybe we'll come up with a better idea or, you know, someone asks for a better format, like maybe just do it as an HTML or something like this, you know? So you can actually set up a bot that emails that to you or something along those lines. So I PDF for just an example, because I think that the having JSON and having an index is not exactly helpful. All right. Uh, but yeah, so we got this. So essentially, I just need to swap this line over here, right? And do, 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 this one, and we are basically done for today. Right, so I, what is there a rep? Oh yeah, this is the thing that I downloaded. And uh, what I have here, I removed the elastic lunar and yeah, okay, cool. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, I don't think, yeah, I think I won't even commit that. So I'll just leave it as is um, and hope I don't break anything on my computer until the next stream, which theoretically shouldn't happen. But uh, yeah, you know what? I should have tested if it will return JSON, but we can do it next time. So that's basically it from my side, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to throw them into the chat right now. A uh, link to the website would be fine in the description. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. We probably should add the link to the website and stuff like this. But again, you know, uh, I think there's like a ton of work left to do here to make it better usable, you know, better searchable and richer and everything. So we're gonna get there eventually. Uh, but yeah, as usual, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Feel free to join our Discord server if you want to have a look at the source code for any of this. The links are in the description for the video channel or wherever you're watching this. Yeah, I guess that will be it from my side for today. So thank you guys for watching. And I see you at Saturday on uh, BXS Weekly and next week on Wednesday for more of this kind of bollocks we did here today. So yeah. Thanks for watching and have an awesome rest of the week. Bye.